Nowadays, our network, the numbers of the users and the network equipment are becoming larger and larger. So it is very difficult for us to manage so many network devices and the host. And also in our network, we may have different vendors devices. So it's a big challenge for us to manage all of those devices. So this is, it is very necessary for us to have one network management system to help us to manage, to manage this big number of the network devices. So SNMP, this protocol can help us communicate between the NMS and the network devices. Okay, so upon completion of this section, you will be able to describe the SNMP architecture and messaging behavior, describe the function of the management information base, and configure general SNMP parameters and traps. Okay, first, let's look at the SNMP application. So this is a very simple network. And in this network, we want to deploy a network management station or network management system so that this system can help us to manage, to easily manage all of those network devices. But between the network management system and the network equipment, they need to communicate. So SNMP, this protocol, can help us to communicate between the network management system and the network equipment. So this is it's like a language between the NMS and the network devices. Okay, so this is the SNMP architecture. So we have three elements in this architecture. First is NMS. NMS is like a software installed on a server. So this is a kind of software system. And this is a network element. So it's like a switch or a router or a firewall. It's a network device. So on the device, we have an agent. The agent is like a process running on this network device. And we also have a MIB objective. MIB means management information base. So in this management information base, we have the whole information of this network devices. Okay, so if SNMP wants to communicate with the network devices, first it will send the packet to the agent. Then the agent will search the MIB. It will search this information base to find the information and the parameters. And then the agent will send those information and the parameters to the NMS. So this is the whole architecture of SNMP. And MIB objectives. We know the MIB is a management information base on the network equipment. So here we can see it's like a tree. So in this tree, we can find and we can search the useful information that we need. And the SN, SNMP operation is like this. For the SNMP, we have three versions. SNMP, SNMP version 1 and SNMP version 2 and SNMP version 3. Version 1 is the most simple version. It can help us to get some parameters and information from the equipment. And also, we can set some parameters to change, to modify some parameters on the network equipment. And also, the network equipment, if they have some important events or if they have some alarms, they will send the trap information to tell the NMS. Then the, on the NMS, we will see the alarms, so it can inform the administrator to check what, ha what happened on the network equipment. So this is the basic function of SNMP version 1. 
And for SNMP version 2, we have a new function. The new function is the get bug request. Get bug request can help us. We, we can only need to send one package, one get bug request. Then we can get multiple parameters from the agent. But for SNMP version 1, we need Every time, if we want to get one parameter or some parameters, we need to send a request. So the version 2, we can only send one get bug request then to help us to get more, to get more information from the uh, network equipment. And the latest version is SNMP version 3. Compared with SNMP version 1 and version 2, the most important improvement of SNMP version 3 is that this is more secured. So SNMP version 3 security mechanisms support data integrity, data origin authentication, confidentiality, and timely message delivery. It means every time when the NMS send some request to the network devices, this request, it will be encrypted. And when the network device receives this, this request package, the network device, it will authenticate this package to ensure that this package is sent from the real NMS server. Then when it sends the response, it will also encrypt the data. And the NMS, at the same time, it will also authenticate the data sent from the equipment. So in this way, it can help us to make our network management more secured. OK, let's look at the SNMP configuration. So on router A, first enable SNMP agent. And then we can set the SNMP version. Here, we can set it to version 2. And then SNMP trap enable. So this function, this command is used to enable the trap function. So the router A, the router A will be able to send the trap, trap packets to the NMS. So if there are some important events occurred on the router A, it will send to the NMS. And Finally, we can specify the trap source interface, gigabit 001. So when some alarms occurred on the router A, it will send the trap, trap packets out from this interface to the NMS. After the configuration, we can use the command display SNMP agent system information to see the configuration. And here we can see now the system version running in the system is SNMP version 2. OK, that's all. So now let's look at two questions. First, which versions of SNMP is enabled by default? So by default on Huawei AR routers, all of these three versions, SNMP version 1, version 2, and version 3, are enabled by default. OK, second question. What is the destination port number that is used by an agent to forward traps to a network management station? OK, when the agent, when a switch or a router wants to send a trap, a trap package, to the NMS, it will use the UDP port 162 to send to the NMS. Remember, SNMP, this protocol is based on UDP transport layer protocol. 